uh, the beginning of the morning, I told you a story about an elementary boy by the name of Tommy who went on into college and into higher education and to higher education administration, in fact. I asked him, and he said the event was of sufficient quality that he will reveal himself. So please, Associate Dean Tom Schrader of the math division, please. This is Tommy, who found college really different. Thanks for sharing that, that story with me, and I can share it with others. Um, there were over 56 people at the college who have been working on this event since January or February of this year. To read their names would take us past lunchtime, so it, that would be difficult. But I want to thank, certainly, uh, the very good folks within uh, multimedia services and uh, event planning. And if you've seen any people walking around here with headsets on um, in a very uh, calm and deliberate fashion, uh, they do that in a very calm and deliberate way because they are on point, on task, know what they're doing every minute that they're doing what they're doing. So that's something that we really haven't had to, um, to worry about at all. It's happened uh, seamlessly. Um, there were over uh, 40 people within the math uh, division, other members of the committee. And again, to mention all of their names, uh, it, it's like Academy Awards, you, gotta, you have to read every one. Um, you know who you are, but if you were involved in any part of this, if you attended a committee meeting, if you sent an email, if you ran to the copy machine, please would you stand for a moment in the room because we have a number of, of people who have done that. Please stand up because these are some of the people who have really made uh, a lot of this happen. Uh, there's, there's one person who had, and I should mention as well, that the thought work that you have each have provided on these poster boards with the post-it notes and the thought work, there is really no one in the room that, that shouldn't be singled out, brought up to the stage, and thanked individually by name for something specific that they did to make this event a success. But with 120 people in the room, that's difficult to do. But there's no one in the room that shouldn't be thanked for something that you did to bring your thought work and your mind share to this event. One person who grabbed this idea back when there was snow on the ground <laughs> in uh, early uh, 2015, who said, I'm going to put this together, is Jim Bradley. And Jim is... He had to go give a test. Well, then please tell him what I'm going to tell you about him. We all know the, pe the Peanuts comic strip. We know the two characters, Lucy and Charlie Brown. Lucy is relentless. Charlie Brown is patient. Jim Bradley was relentlessly patient with every committee meeting that we went through to make this happen. Lucy is obstinate. Charlie Brown is caring. Jim Bradley has been obstinately caring about every facet of this event. Lucy is stubborn. Charlie Brown is sincere. Jim Bradley has been stubbornly sincere about bringing to you and the community of 502, District, Community College District 502, a quality event. So he wasn't here to hear me say those things about him, <laughs> but tell him that he was the, the good side of Lucy and the good side of Charlie Brown working together to bring this uh, together. So uh, my name is Russ Watson. I'm Emeritus Professor from here and, uh, and Governor of State University. It's been my pleasure and my honor to spend some time with you. I want to, sp to send uh, the, the, uh, the, the podium, the podium uh, attention to Dr. Jean Karche, who is our Vice President of Academic Affairs. Jean, come ahead. And very good.
think we need to give equal applause to uh, Russ Watson, who has been John, or Jim's right-hand person, and to Lauren Morgan, who played a significant role in this. Thank you. I don't know. I've enjoyed the day. How about you? Uh, I'm very pleased to provide some final perspectives of the day and to also commend the committee and the group on a job well done. This has been a great event. Um, and I know that the committee who designed it, who we've thanked already and will be thanking uh, into the future, um, had some real plans in mind when they designed this particular symposium. It was contextualized to sub as a subset of a national dialogue on college preparation and workforce readiness. So they brought people into the room who could not join us. Uh, the planners uh, were looking to bring together educators from all levels, counselors, people in business, students, policymakers, and to address issues related to student su or successful transitions from secondary to high school to the professional world. And as we learned earlier, starting maybe in junior high, we need to start even earlier. I think that goal was achieved in spades today. The planners developed a forum in which we could all express our views and to hear the views of others. And with the wide variety of roles, backgrounds, and perspectives of our speakers, panelists, and participants, the likelihood is very high that sometime to, during this symposium, you might have heard an idea or a viewpoint with which you agreed or disagreed uh, during the conversations. I challenge you to stay engaged and continue to contribute to this important dialogue so that we can find ways to assist all of our students and our communities as uh, we look to make a successful uh, transition into the future. Um, the newsprint work for all of the tables will be published and available to all attendees on the website. And I'm hoping maybe we can get, uh, as Bob mentioned, Sheila Simon's work. We could attach that to the website too so we have the, the broader perspective. If you're interested in attending other meetings like this, please note that on your uh, blue evaluation, which I hope you'll all fill out so we have some feedback. Thank you all for coming and for spending this time with us. Please stay and enjoy some refreshments. And uh, since we had some moments of silence, have some moments of talk with the people in the room. Thank you very much to all who planned this.